Hey everyone, my name is Bridget. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is definitely one that I didn't think I'd have to do and definitely one that I don't want to do. But I think I need to because I know that there are a lot of people who share the same experiences. So I think that it might could shed some light on the situation and maybe help someone who's dealing with a similar situation. You guys know that I got my new mystery snail blue and I put him in the tank with my betta fish cozy. I have seen a lot of people who keep mystery snails in with betta fish and they don't have any sort of issue. Naturally, I didn't think that I would have an issue either, but unfortunately I did. When I had my mystery snail Carl, in the beginning, when I first put Carl in the water, I did notice that Cozy went and chewed on his antennas. And I thought, you know, well that's just curiosity. They look like worms, it's not a big deal. I researched it and I was informed that they regenerate really fast. It doesn't cause any issues for the snail itself. And so I didn't really worry. And after that, Cozy had never messed with Carl again. So as I had the idea to get another mystery snail blue and put him in the tank, I didn't think anything of it because Cozy had not messed with Carl the entire time that he was in there. So I naturally thought that another mystery snail would also not be a problem. Now I know that there are probably a lot of people out there who would say, well, if you've seen your betta fish attack your snail, why would you continuously keep it in the tank? Why wouldn't you separate them? Blah, blah, blah. And because I kept a very close eye on it and knew that Cozy wasn't messing with him anymore, I didn't see a problem with it. Now, to be completely honest, looking back, I do feel as though it wasn't a good idea to keep the mystery snail in with my beta and the fact that Carl passed away so suddenly and the fact that he was hanging out of his shell and Cozy had taken some chunks out of his foot. I'm starting to believe now that perhaps my beta fish Cozy actually murdered Carl. Again, like I said, there are a lot of people who can keep beta fish and mystery snails in the same tank successfully. But after I put Blue in the tank and he started to kind of make his moves and go around the tank a little bit, Cozy made his way over there and ate almost all of his antennas as well. So when that happened, I immediately just felt like crap naturally and said, I can't do this, I can't have them together, it's not fair for the snail, and I immediately took action to have them separated. Now the way that this had to happen is definitely not desirable, but I had to think quickly and come up with a solution for this kind of situation. So I took Blue out of the tank and I put him in a tea pitcher with some of the aquarium water and kept him in there because I didn't have an extra tank on hand, so I needed to order one. So I immediately got on Amazon Prime found an aquarium that I thought would suit best for a snail and had it on its way. Unfortunately, it was going to be three days until I would get this aquarium in the mail, so I had to come up with something to keep the snail fine and alive and okay, and so I kept him in the tea pitcher with the aquarium water. I also had to change the water frequently because obviously it's not, you know, a cycled aquarium that has a filter and everything. So his waste in there was making the levels unsafe. But fortunately, whenever I got the aquarium in, Blue was still doing really well in his tea pitcher and I immediately started to set up this new aquarium. So what I had to do is take two gallons out of Cozy's aquarium, put it in the new aquarium, and then I filled the rest of the aquarium up with water that I had treated with my prime, set everything up, and stuck him in there. As I continued along with this aquarium, I did test the water frequently, and there wasn't any spikes in anything. Um, it was zero all the way across, even in the nitrates. There was zero nitrates. So I took that as a good sign. I'm still taking it as a good sign. Everything is going really well. He is already thriving in this aquarium and I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy that I have now separated them and I don't have to worry about him getting eaten or killed. I don't have to worry about Cozy attacking anyone or thinking that there's a threatening presence in his home. You know, I think everyone is now happier at this point and that's what matters. So I just wanted to tell you guys this. I know some people have success with keeping betta fish and snails. 
I personally haven't had great success and I know that there are more people who don't have success than there are that do have success. So if you happen to have an aquarium and you want you know, snails in your tank with your beta, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I'm gonna say that I don't recommend it because you don't know how your beta fish is gonna react. Every beta is different. Some are more aggressive than others. I did not know that Cozy was aggressive at all, but apparently he is, and that's fine. It's just not something that I would ever do again. So obviously, do what you feel is best, but be aware that if you're putting another being in with your beta fish, there is a high risk of something going wrong, your beta fish killing the snail, attacking the snail, just stressing the snail out. Again, I know it can be successful for some people. It was not for me. I'm not gonna do that again. I honestly think it's totally fine and I think that having this aquarium for just snails is also totally fine. I'm kind of excited to just have a snail dedicated tank. I think they're so beautiful and interesting and so I think that works out for the long run. So now I'm gonna send you guys over to look at Blue's new aquarium, how he's doing, how I set everything up and all that good stuff. All right, so here is the new setup I have for Blue. It's not in the most glorious location. It's just next to my microwave, but in the dire need that we had to uh, change aquariums, this is the only place I can really think to put it. But I do think it works. This is the Marineland Portrait 5-Gallon Aquarium. I will have this link down below. I got it off of Amazon. I think that it was a really good price for what it is. It's not my favorite aquarium in the entire world, but it actually works really well for his situation and what I plan to do with it. I do plan on just having a snail tank here and I think that that's a really good idea and I think this is a good aquarium for that specific purpose. So I'll just give kind of a basic overview of the aquarium. I just put some regular white gravel in the bottom and there was a rock that I had in my previous aquarium that had beneficial bacteria on it and a little bit of algae so I knew that that would help jumpstart the aquarium and then I have a few moss balls in there. Then there's this fake plant that I got from Petco. It fills up the tank nicely, looks beautiful, and it gives a lot of coverage for Blue to crawl around on and eat whatever is on top of it. I have a heater back there that I have set to 75 right now. The aquarium pretty much stays around 77 in my house, but just in case it gets lower than 75, I wanna make sure he's got a little bit of a heater back there to make sure he's nice and warm. The outflow there, I do have it set on the lowest setting, but it is still extremely strong. I definitely don't recommend this aquarium for beta fish unless you can kind of figure out a way to slow that down even more. As far as as the filtration goes you can see that back there in the back there is a little bit of a cover this cover does not stay on I have it taped down right now because it is really just poor quality so it doesn't stay on for me I don't mind it I definitely do want a cover on the filter area just so that no other particles or anything get in there but I've had to tape it down and I'm gonna have to retape it every single time I need to get in there just to make sure that it actually stays on I do like the light I think the light is really good it can go from you know just plain white and then blue it's very bright and it's directly over the top of the aquarium which is nice what I also like about this aquarium is that it has a fully closed lid it still allows for ventilation obviously but it is fully closed to where the snail cannot escape. So in my other aquarium, it has a little bit of an open section right underneath the light, and that puts the risk of the snail actually escaping through there. So I don't have to worry about Blue ever escaping this aquarium because it is closed on all areas, and it's nice because I can just easily slide this, pull it up, open it, things like that, and I don't have to worry about him getting out. So yeah, it's not my favorite tank in the entire world, but it really serves its purpose. It's great for what I'm trying to do with it, with just a snail tank it gives them a whole lot of area to crawl around and explore and eat different things and I plan on having two possibly three snails in here but I don't know if three is too many definitely two I'm gonna get another friend for blue and that is about it there in the bottom corner is just a little bit of snail food that I put down there that he ate on just a little bit last night so it's just hanging out on the bottom and he can finish it later and currently little blue is just wrapped around this moss ball back there so once he starts to move around a bit I will record him in there and let you guys see how he's doing he's doing extremely well his antennas look a whole lot better so I'm not worried about him anymore I think he's gonna really love living this tank.
All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for my video today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that I shed some light on this kind of situation. And hopefully if you've gone through this situation as well, maybe this helps you to figure out a new solution for your snails if you are in love with them as I am. If you wanna keep up with Blue's progress, you can follow me on all of my social medias. I'll have those linked down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload next. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.